find your views about the future interesting, but how do you account for human nature? How do I account for what? Human nature. Human nature. Human nature uh, is the way people have found other people to behave over many long years. They appear to manifest greed, jealousy, envy, even animals. If you take a cat and put it on your lap in the presence of the dog, the dog may growl. And a psychologist, that's what I mean by the nature of the beast. So I said, come on down to my lab in about a week. So I picked up my cat, put it on my lap, and the dog's tail starts wagging. Because you reinforce the dog before you pick up the cat and put it. The cat is a threat to the dog's security. The dog wants you to pet it, not the cat. So you, you give the dog these ambivalent feelings. But you can have 15 kids in the room without jealousy, without envy. It is not human nature. It's human behavior that's shaped by culture. If, like I said, if you were brought up in China years ago, you'd walk with your hands in your sleeves and shuffle and wear a long pigtail. And someone well, that's human nature. That's not. That's the influence of environment on your behavior. Dancing is the same thing. Dancers change over a period of time. Music changes over time. So there is really no human nature. Think about it. Toss it around. There is varying degrees of human behavior. If we wish to understand the factors that generate our value system, that generate the way we look at the world, you have to go back in time and study these things. I'm sorry again, I can't go into much more detail, just a general overview of the Venus Project. We don't want individuality in that area. We want uniformity. Is there a place for individuality? You know, in the next few years, the word individuality will go the way all the other crude and vulgar terms went. Individuality, when you buy a Mercedes, if you can afford it, and you turn the key, you want it to start, not sometimes, all the time. And when you turn, you want it to turn. And when you put the brakes on, you want it to stop. So it's called quality control. Variations in human behavior, which we call individuality today, is poor quality control. In the future, the question of people, then wouldn't everybody be uniform then? Well, the question of uniformity is essentially this. They will uniformly like anyone they meet, uniformly share ideas and resources, uniformly share knowledge with everyone else, and uniformly courteous to everyone else. That's the only kind of uniformity. As far as the accumulation of wealth, property, and power, this will be considered part of the age of the Bulgarians. To, to us, this is all normal. This is a thing to do, to become successful. Well, in my early days, I wanted to be successful, and a company came to me and he said, we have a bunch of Mexican women and Indian women that sit at a conveyor belt and they pick the black beans and they pick the white beans throw them in another box and they said, can you uh, improve that? I said, how far do you want to go? Now, I would like my machines to come in but I would like them to get a shorter work day, an increase in purchasing power. If machines do not improve the lives of people that work in automobile factories. If they're automated out of existence, so will you be automated out of existence. All of us can be automated out. Roxanne uh, recently had some area, she does architectural renderings, site plans. There are machines that do that some, some years ago. CAD. There are machines today that make models. If you take a vase and put it on the table and it's scanned, they have a laser beam that penetrates a fluid and solidifies that fluid in the exact shape of that vase. You can do it to England, China, anywhere in the world. And I want to repeat this. Machines today, that is three months ago, could handle 500 trillion bits of information per second. I don't care how many humans you get together, there's no place for human behavior in the next 20 years. There's no place for human participation in the next 20 years, or maybe less. 
No one can predict the future precisely. I am not gentle. I don't pull my punches. I can't afford it. I respect you. I like you too much. I would rather tell you things as they are, not generate additional illusions.